there is never enough good leadership in a community. There, there was a time where we thought there might be a crisis in, in leadership as we looked around and saw that those of us who got really active in our 30s and 40s were not going to be replaced so easily. When we started the Women's Jewish Learning Center, we had three goals. First, to help women grow spiritually. Second, to help Jewish women's organizations educate their members Jewishly. And third, to cultivate Jewish women's leadership. When we partnered with the PJ Library, that's when we began to address that third part of our mission, to cultivate women's leadership. And therefore, Mentor serves a great role supporting a mentee in identifying who the agencies are, who the partners are, and how to get involved with them. This process was more intentional. Um, it was clear that you wanted to communicate with your two-year mentee what the nature of leadership was according to your path and your journey. And so we came up with some really good places for her to place her passion and her skills, and we've been very successful with that. So what I recently um, helped out with was the first ever Council for Jews with Special Needs uh, Seder. I've been working with the Bureau of Jewish Education. We're hoping to start this in the fall. It will be an experience for 12 to 15 teachers and all of our schools to come together and love to learn and to share that learning. Part of my project is about identifying ways to connect different organizations. For example, identifying how Hillel could be volunteers for an event for PJ Library. We're able to create more of a continuity amongst the ages. I'm taking PJ Library books and I'm incorporating them into my preschool curriculum. I want the kids to have a sense of loving books and loving learning without actually thinking they're learning. I am really excited. One of the mentors in our program what, is the co-chair, or is the chairperson for PJ Library, and has asked me to be the co-chair. And there's nothing that I love more than books, Judaism, education, and being with the children. And so this was just the absolute perfect fit. And so currently there are about 100 um, preteens and teens receiving books through PJ Way in the Phoenix area. I'm hoping that this time next year we'll be close to 500 or maybe even over 500. When we get together as a group, the ideas just seem to flourish. And if there's something that is a strength, people don't have a problem standing up and talking about it. And if there's something that it's a weakness, now you know who you can go to. I think one of the lessons that I remember is when Rabbi Cantor was talking about Jacob's Ladder and how sometimes you have to go up a rung and then go down two rungs before you can go back up a rung. And so um, truly taking a deep breath, having some determination, and know that it's not always going to go your way. I wasn't as much expecting to take so much personally from the program in terms of really identifying how important community was to me. I think these women will be a future core that our community should call upon to take on many leadership roles throughout the vast community that exists in Metropolitan Phoenix. I feel like I'm really just getting started and I look forward to the various ways I can help make an impact through the Shalom Center. And now I'm excited about other opportunities of other events that I can help out with as well. There is truly a community of Jewish women that are working together to make our community in Greater Phoenix better. And to provide a new energy as we move forward in creating a strong and vibrant community for future generations.